30 Funniest Clean Jokes According to Reddit Number 30 An 18-wheeler full of wigs and toupees crashed and spilled over the interstate at 1.30 today. Police are still combing the area. You like oh, that? because they're wigs and you need to comb the wigs because they're full of hair. What? Well, you, well, that's the joke. Okay, man, this <laughs> this whole thing's supposed to be stripes, so I'm just gonna let it. I'm gonna let it be stripes. Number twenty nine. It's raining cats and dogs out here. I know. I just stepped in a poodle. Hate it. <laughs> Number twenty eight. What do you call a cow with epilepsy? What do you call a cat with epilepsy? Beef jerky. You like that? No. <laughs> No. 27. Oh, it's sad. <laughs> 27. Why did the sun not go to college like the sun is in the star? Oh, okay. Why didn't he go to college? Because he already had a million degrees. <laughs> Get it? It's a temperature joke? No? How many of these are told in science classes? I need oh, to know. Man. 27. 27 of them? No, no, no. We're on 20. Oh, my God. 27. I'm good friends with 25 letters of the English alphabet. I don't know why. No? <laughs> Look, at 20, uh, 26. A photon walks into a hotel. The desk clerk says, Welcome to our hotel. Can we help you with your luggage? The photon says, No thanks. I'm traveling light. These are all science jokes. They're not all science. They're all going to be <laughs> look, science look, look, jokes. It's just, it's just like a, a... Okay, look. What's what's brown and sticky? What is brown and sticky? A stick. Okay. You like that? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, but where, do you, where do you go... Where do you find a dog with no legs? Where do you find a dog with no legs? Right where you left it. <laughs> it's not funny. It's pretty fucked up. What do you call a dog with no legs? Doesn't matter. He won't come anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> no. You like that one. That's messed up. Uh, what What thinks the unthinkable? Um. If Berg, why do mermaids wear seashells as bras? Because bee shells are too small? Oh. I mean, I'm sure they come. It's probably just one size fits all. It's not like they offer any support. I don't know where you're going with this one. You keep talking any longer, we can just cut this out and make one of those like weird on animations with the with the back and forth <laughs> me and you animated pieces of crap. What do you mean seashells for mermaids are one size fits all? Do you know how hard it is to find a symmetrical shell? So if you just find some, I mean it doesn't matter what size they are, huh? Don't you think maybe like some of the dead mermaids pass on their sea cell breasts, seashell breast bras? No, I think they're just picking corpses. <sighs> what would they? What would they? No, no, no. I'm done thinking about this. <laughs> Where does George Washington keep his armies? In his sleeves? I don't get it. I guess that's a military joke. In his sleeveys. You should ask um, McDonald's. Where does George Washington keep his armies? In his sleeveys. Oh. Arms. Arms. Get it? Okay, yeah. arms. That's a stupid joke. Well. That is a. Yo, that. No. It went <laughs> over our heads. Dude, that is a stupid joke. I was like, armies. Because I'm thinking armies. That's the joke. Is that yeah, you're yeah. thinking armies in his sleeveys? Man. I was about to spend some <laughs> brain cells on that. That's not funny. I thought it was military terminology or something. Man. How does Hitler tie his shoes with little Nazis? Mm. Why did the Irishman have only 239 beans in his soup? Because uh, one more and it would have been too far tea. Okay. Too far tea. Too far, T. Too f- <laughs> Too far, T. <tea. laughs> okay? Somebody said, you kind of have to 
you kind of have a ter- stereotypical Irish accent for it to be funny. Why? <laughs> Why did the Irishman <laughs> Say it again. have only 239 beans in his soup? <laughs> because if he had one more, it'd be too far. <laughs> if he had one... <laughs> If you had one more, it'd be too far. <laughs> That's not a good Irish accent. Two fish are in a tank, and one turns to the other and says, You man the guns, I'll drive. I don't get it. Oh, a tank. Oh, okay, okay. These are, these are stupid. Look, man, <laughs> the butcher accidentally backed into the meat grinder and got a little behind his work. Okay behind in his work though oh behind in his work yeah like he got some of his ass it would have worked better if there was an in in there oh my god I thought you were going to say it would have worked better if I read it properly but I mean these are just pissing me off anyway but at least they get better as we go up huh what do you get when you cross the Atlantic with the Titanic about halfway that's not funny that's in poor taste that was a tragedy and it happened like a day ago not and everyone can jokes. laugh at that. How knock, knock. inconsiderate. Knock, knock. Oh, who's there? <laughs> you won't get this joke, but maybe you'll get it in, in the context, okay? Keith Richards was the lead guitarist for the... Who? No, you're... Sp- that's not, this isn't how a knock-knock joke works. I say knock-knock, you say who's there. <laughs> I say a thing, you say a thing who... So let's try this again, okay? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Keith Richards was the lead guitarist for the. Keith Richards of the least. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say well? Well. <laughs> Shut. Let me try this Keith again. Richard look, 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 was look, 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 look. okay. I'll okay. edit it out, even though you know that's a lie. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Keith Richards was the lead guitarist of the. Keith Richards was the lead guitarist of the Who. Keith Richards, Keith Richards was no. Keith Richards was the lead guitarist of the Rolling Stones. Pete Townshend was the lead guitarist of the Who. You know what? Gotcha, Stripes. I'm gonna pull. I gotcha. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this little piece of toilet paper out of my nose and huck it at you. Before we started this list, Stripes horrified me. By having a a, a a a nosebleed, and she turns to me and she goes, "I'm having a nosebleed," and I go, "Nah," and she goes, and she oh. leans her head forward, and like cups her hand under her nose, and I was like, "Oh my god," and nothing came out, and then she goes, "It's going down my throat," and runs off to the bathroom, and it was just the scariest. I mean, I got some on my wrist to show you that it happened. Yeah. And then you, what you I missed you? you Man I'll pick it up Stripes just flicked A A, a, a toilet paper wad Of her bloody nose blood In my direction And then said I missed And I'm giving her a look like <laughs> Is it about that you missed Or that you were even doing something So unhygienic <laughs> It's not fun, man. If you ever catch a stripes in the wild, just release her. Just release her, people. Man, stripes is here for the week, everybody. And this Two. is why everything's so inconsistent. Two weeks. Oh wow, she's she's calling shots now. Apparently, knock knock, stripes. Oh, is another there? one. Control freak. Now say control freak who. Get I didn't it? know there was. No, 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 I'll tell you when left. All right. <laughs> Jesus, did you hear the? Did you hear about the new corduroy pillows? I didn't. They're making headlines. I don't get that joke. Okay, corduroy is a very specific type of uh, material. So if you were to lie your face on something, much like when you know certain you know people lie, certain fair people when they lie on something, it makes an impression on their body. Corduroy is the type of thing where. You know, there, there's a lot of lines on it. So if you... <sighs> fucking stripes, dude. Here's a long joke. I always enjoy this joke, and I found it on Reddit for... Sorry. Let me just skip past the intro to the goddamn joke. Okay. 
There were two white Christian men, Adam and Jack, whose plane crashed into a desert. Luckily, they survived unharmed, and as they traveled through the hot desert, looking for food and water, they gave up and sat down, thinking of what to do. As the dust in the air settled, they suddenly could view a mosque ahead. They became very hopeful, but then Adam said, Muslims are there. They might help us if we say we are Muslim. Then Jack said, no way. I won't say I'm Muslim. I'm going to be honest. So Adam and Jack went to the mosque ahead and were greeted by an Arab Muslim. Why you say Arab like that guy? You probably should have said Arab. He was greeted by an Arab Muslim who asked what their names were. Adam thought of a Muslim name and said, my name is Muhammad. And Jack said, my name is Jack. The Arab man said, hello, Jack and told these other men to take Jack and give him food and drink. Then he turned to Adam and said, Salam, Muhammad, Ramadan Mubarak. Hello, Muhammad, happy Ramadan. Because they're fasting. Right. So he doesn't get any food. I know that, but it was a, it was a long fucking way to a not fucking joke. <laughs> that not everyone's going to get, because not everyone knows And what does it fucking traditions. matter if he still found his way into a place where he will eventually get food? Ramadan isn't the fasting for the rest of your life, nigga. You found, you found, you're not in a desert anymore. Yeah. So I feel like the, the, the crux of the joke, I don't know, man. Nigga, move on. This joke made me upset. Because I devoted some time and energy to it. And I knew it wouldn't be funny. But to, to not be funny in this capacity? Well, you're going to have to wait a... Maybe... What is Ramadan? Like a one-day thing? Or like a almost like a, a week or something of fasting? You're asking me? I know, so I know more shit about Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah than I do. The about only thing I Muslim. know what? about Muslim traditions is what I saw in Proud Family. Guys, I'm not insulting Muslim, um, you know, celebrations. I have respect for, you know, the things that they do in that religion as well. This joke pissed me the hell off. That's where my frustration is coming from, the joke. So when I say pussy ass like crap in the context of this joke, I'm not mad at the Muslims. Don't bomb my channel unless you bombing it with views. You can't see the poses that I'm making. But I can. Candy. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're bombing it with views. Why? Yeah, yeah. The last thing I need is a camera. Anyway, what's E.T. short for? Well, you have a camera now. And what I'm just supposed to use my webcam because people because people know it's there. Do I need to do I need to bring you over to the Amazon wish levels? Okay. To be honest, I have a very serious question about this thing that disappeared from my wish list a while back. What is it? It's a cooling pad for my laptop, which is why I don't want to use it too often. Um, it disappeared, and I thought that somebody got it and it was on its way here, but I don't think it got here. Which is weird. The same thing actually, that happened no to the homo, pool? Um, Tim actually sent me something recently, and I love him for it. So shout out to No Homo Tim, the chosen one. Did he send a letter with it? Yeah, he sent something, and it said um, that the last thing got lost. And what that makes me wonder is if it was never delivered. You know? I don't, I'm wondering if he sent it around the... Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The... Uh, are these my subscriptions? Shut up, guys. Oh, around the hurricane? Joke. Yeah, around Hurricane Matthew time. And maybe that's why, you know, there's some unaccounted for bullshit. But I didn't get any uh, delivery notifications. And at the very least, they could say, hey, there's some shit at the mail, like, you know, at the post office for you. Come get it. Look, look. What is E.T. short for? Is this a joke about his height and not his name? Can you see the screen? No, I can't. Yes, yeah, a joke about his height because he got little legs. What's E.T. short for? I like that one. <laughs> you like that one? A lonely guy goes to a pet store looking for a companion. The store clerk says, I've got the perfect pet for you. And brings out a shoebox with a caterpillar in it. Cool, it may evolve into a butterfree. Though, the lonely man is skeptical, but makes the purchase. Once home, he sets the shoebox down and wonders what he and his new friend should do. He asked the caterpillar, do you want to go to the bar? No answer. Again, the lonely man said, would you like to go to the bar and get a drink or something? Still no answer. Now the man is a bit upset and yells, hey, 
Do you want to go to the bar? The caterpillar says, I heard you the first time. I'm just putting on my shoes. This is the second. I'm trying to look for a this pun. This is the second crushingly unfunny joke in this thread. I'm trying to look for a pun, but I don't think it's there. Is I this know, just a joke? No, there's no joke here, homie. The joke is supposed to be. This is a caterpillar, sir. Why he's is he talking? talking. Yeah, yeah, he's not going to respond to you. But the comedy is that the caterpillar goes, I'm just putting on my shoes. <laughs> it's a family guy sketch is what this is right now. It's a family guy sketch. And I'm in the mood for the shit. <laughs> a man goes to the pet store and asks the clerk if he can buy a fish. The clerk says, sure. Do you want an aquarium? The man says, I don't care what its astrological sign is. See, that's good. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. good. <laughs> and that's real. Somebody's, you know, somebody's made that mistake before. When they've been asked about an aquarium, they go, man, I don't, I don't buy into all that star sign shit. Sir, aquarium, sir. Sir, what? <laughs> sir. That needs to be the new thing that I get on. I need to find, like, Tales from Retail or something and try to get my uh, videos. Tales the... from Retail? That's there's a, a really a good... There's a called Tales from Retail. You never heard of it? That is some clever wordplay. Oh, I never even really thought about, about it like that. But, you know, I'm getting hungry. Blame Stripes and her nosebleeds, guys. I didn't do or anything pray for wrong. Stripes, hashtag pray for Stripes, since, you know, she getting nosebleeds. You can't die from a nosebleed. Go ahead and remind everybody why you get nosebleeds, because they're going to want to know that question needs to be answered for people who aren't, you know, watching every video. Well, when I was a kid, my sister said, well, no, she hit me with a photo album. In the face, on the nose. Because she was jealous of her, of your hotness what? at the time. <laughs> she also cut my hair and put it in her shoes when no one was looking. But they exposed the culprit because she kept the evidence. What a dumb hoe. I'm kidding. She maybe watched it. Nah. Nah, she doesn't care. Nah. <laughs> but she might because she listened and be like, like... See if I'm torturing you or something. Ew. What do you mean? What's what's ear about torture? I can torture people. It just wouldn't be you. Okay, so here's another one. What's orange and sounds like parrot? What is orange and sounds like parrot? Think about it. An orange parrot? <sighs> Nigga, what's orange and sounds like parrot stripes? I honestly don't know. Carrot. A piece of string walks into a bar <laughs> and tries to order a drink. I like this one because it is stupid. <laughs> a piece of string. <laughs> the bartender says, sorry, we don't serve. <laughs> Wait, what's it say? Okay. The piece of string walks into the bar and tries to order a drink. And the bartender says, sorry, we don't serve pieces of string. <laughs> the string goes back outside, ties himself up, and messes up his hair. The string goes back into the bar and orders again. The bartender asks, are you just a piece of string? <laughs> no, says the piece of string. I'm afraid not. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing into your shirt? <laughs> Do you understand? Do you understand like the frayed not joke though? I don't know. R a y e d k n o t. Stripes is on the other side of the room, so we can avoid peeking both microphones when I speak. So she can't see the spelling here. I don't even know what frayed means when it's spelled like that. F R A Y E D. You've never. I've never heard of that. Y E D. Y E D. What's that mean? <sighs> Frayed on its own means, um, <sighs> like <sighs> even these definitions aren't doing it right, doing it justice. You know, of a fabric, rope, or cord unraveled or worn. I guess okay. unraveled, yes. Yeah. But, but I, I just, just I think it, I think it means like non non uniform to me. Like when I when I think of fray, I think of you know, it's not following suit or it's not together. It's apart. Sure, it's just, it's just unkempt. 
you know but when when most people think of the fray they say they think step one you say we need to talk you know what i mean where did i go wrong i lost a friend did i go wrong somewhere along in bitterness and how i could have stayed up with you all night had i known how to save a life i'm gonna sing that at the end of this video okay i'm gonna get copyright struck so hard i'm gonna go back in time would you would you go back in time to try and find me to find you when that's good that's good you're already on board <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I'm looking for a man. What's his name? Kyan. Well, where do you think he is? Not where. <laughs> when? <laughs> told. Okay, look. Told to me by my six-year-old. Okay. What's red and invisible? No tomatoes. I mean, it's cute. Be only because you... It's told by a child. The guy says it was a pretty abstract joke for a six-year-old. <laughs> That's some philosophical shit right there. Like, yeah, what's... Like, what? Man, I can't even duplicate that well. What's, like, fun? I don't... Okay, man. What is Red and Invisible? You know? What is it? With your straightest face, you. Did you know that if you pour salt on an alligator's tail, that it will fall off? Them. Really? Really? They're asking. You. Yeah, and pepper falls right off, too. The salt. Okay, the salt falls off of its scales. Good stuff. Because you thought it meant the tail would fall off, but really it was the salt. <laughs> There's this one Family Guy dude that, that explains the joke and then he laughs. It's funny because it make you think the other thing. Stupid. Now, what's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a unicycle and a well-dressed man on a bicycle? I think the one that's dressed a little worse would get more coin. It's some sophisticated thought processing for what is clearly just a dumb, simple punchline having joke stripes. So once again... Well, you were asking me. No, I wasn't asking you. I was setting up a joke. Like, you could deliver something back that may be a joke in itself, but I guess that is the joke, huh, stripes, that you thought it through. Man, you're making me back away from the microphone like you're astonishing me some. Because, like, now I'm turning to look at stripes <laughs> and the crap. Just like, really? Yeah, okay, look. Ooh, what's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a unicycle and a well dressed man on a bicycle stripes? A tire. Do you get it? The tie, the business tie that one of them is wearing. A, a tire. <laughs> stripes. Okay, I get it. Explain it. A tire means wardrobe. Okay. Okay. I was just scared you didn't know what a tire meant, Stripes. <laughs> so you wouldn't get the play on words that is a tire versus a tire. Like clothing. You know what I mean? Fuck me. Fuck me, Stripes. Oh my god. Why did the bike fall over? Why it did was it? too tired. Too tired. Chinese proverb. Man run behind bus. Get exhausted. Man run in front of bus. Gets tired. Hit it. It gets run over. Yeah. Man on top of bus gets winded. <laughs> Why you like that one? I like it. <laughs> Me. What? Wait. Mm. You know, there's there's people that like do jump on top of buses for a free ride and trains too. I'm trying to figure out if you talk. Like, hold on. Let me uh. Let me look at uh. OBS, which is recording us. I mean, the list is almost done, so at this point... Try and, like, set it maybe right. Just talk right in it. Why don't you put this pillow on your... Under your monkey balls. No, put it under your... Okay. And then... And then, no, set that on top of your hand so you can talk right into the mic. Yeah, now it's a radio show. Say hello. I'd like to... I'd like to spin this over to my co... Co-host Stripes over here. 
I'm serious. I've done this whole list the same way, and I'm not sure what you're trying to change things now. Stop trying to be monotone now. Everybody knows I'm not being monotone. Over to my wacky co-host stripes, zany thing. Let me get like a, a soundboard. Oh my god, I'm gonna type that in. A sound. Zany <laughs> radio sound board. Is zany the right word to get what I'm looking for? Wizzy radio soundboard. I just want a, a really audible splat noise. Tell me it's there. What is this? Attention members, cybersex on America Online is prohibited. So please, just go out and get laid. <sighs> well, the, the people tuned in for some jokes. <laughs> And that was what that was. Man, we were both confused. Like, that's what I type. I type soundboard into the internet. And it was like, okay, attention members. Cybersex on America Online is prohibited. I miss those days. Chat rooms on America Online. It'll never be the same. So here's another joke. What mouse walks on two feet? Mickey Mouse. What duck walks on two feet? My girlfriend, Donald Duck. Me, no, all ducks, silly. That's pretty good. It gets me every time someone falls for it. I'm, it must be getting sleepy. I have read that like five times before realizing you weren't calling your girlfriend a bipedal duck. <laughs> what walks on two feet? My girlfriend. <laughs> the way it's free. It's the way it's, uh, I want to say, formatted. Yeah, I That's get it. That's a better way to explain it. Here's another one. Why don't ants get sick? Why don't they? Because they have little antibodies. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. But not it's it's clever. It's yeah, it's a cute joke. It's cute. I like that one. So we're getting up to the top now. There's only like five left. Four left. So here's number four. Why don't ants ever no wait, I repeat. <laughs> number three. Tell it again though. Tell it again. Why don't you ever see hippopotamuses hiding in trees? How would they get up there? Because they're really good at it, Stripes. Oh, okay. A so squirrel, you wouldn't. A squirrel see. is sitting in a tree enjoying the sunset when all of a sudden the whole tree starts to shake and rumble. He looks down and sees it's an elephant climbing the tree. He yells at the elephant, "Hey, get out of the tree, elephant! What are you doing, man? Sorry, squirrel. I'm just coming up to eat some pears. This is a pine tree. There are no pears up here. Well, I brought my own pear." <laughs> So it's like it's like a Winnie the Pooh bumping. Yeah. Oh bother. Don't do that. I love my Winnie the Pooh impression. I hate it. Did they scare it. you? Did they it, scare does, you? it doesn't scare oh, me. It's just Robin. It's just like your shitty Elvis gets under my skin. Whoa. Well, they're group. I'm gonna make myself like pee. Look. Uh, oh God. Why do elephants paint their toenails red? So they can hide in cherry trees. I don't like that one. Have you ever seen an elephant in a cherry tree? No. No. It's because it works, doesn't it? I don't get it. Why don't ants ever get sick? Because oh, I read that already. God, let's go up. Why do scuba divers always fall backwards out of the boat? Why? Because if they fell forwards, they'd still be on the boat. I'm not. E I'm having trouble even visualizing <laughs> somebody, that no, one. Somebody said, "I tell." <laughs> this is the real joke here, okay? Somebody said, "I tell my coworker this joke every morning." We're on week two, and he's really losing his school. <laughs> Dude, that's a real way to piss somebody off. Telling them the same joke yeah. over and over again. Here's a similar joke if you want to spice it up a bit. You know why birds fly in a V formation? Sometimes one side is longer than the other. Why do you Why do you think that is? It's because there are more birds on that side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that's completely outrageous. Oh man, which side of the chicken has the most feathers? The outside. What do what do an eagle and a mole have in common? They both live underground, except for the eagle. Except for, except for. I'm waiting for you to make a joke like that. Oh my god. 
what does Kyle and Perla have in common? They're both boys except for Perla. Ooh, who's Perla? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to learn about her soon. Don't worry about it, though. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo stripes? What's a zippo? <sighs> Here goes the joke, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps the most popular brand of things people use to light their cigarettes are referred to as Zippos. You see them everywhere. I'd like a Zippo lighter because they look interesting. Even well, though I don't have anything to light. Right. Well, let's get you some scented candles. Scented candles. Yeah. Oh, you smell? No, I got some scented candles at the, house, <laughs> at the house, dog. You wanna come by and smell my camembert fresh? I'm like camembert, cream, cranberry. Rain. You strike me as a pine cone kind of man. A pine cone scented candles. Kiss my ass. Kiss my ass. <sighs> What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? What is the difference? One's really heavy, and the other's a little lighter. Oh, what a cute joke now that I know what a Zippo is. How is that at the top of this pussy ass thread? What's the difference between a T-bone steak and a meteorite? What? One's meaty and the other's a little meteor. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. One's, one's meaty <laughs> and the other's a little meteor. <laughs> That's genius wordplay. I can't even lie. I'm telling my kids this one tomorrow. Thanks. These are, this is like, this should have just been a dad joke. I, I could make that thread right now. What's the daddest joke you, what's the dad it out? Dad it out of the park. That joke would be perfect for my channel. I mean, the, the list. Dad it out of the park? Dad it out of the park. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the list. What's the daddest joke? What's the daddest Well, you didn't joke? start that let list. Me, let me go that. ahead and make that list. And then test how well people in the video watching can brigade it so that <laughs> I mean it's essentially the same list I guess you're right so never mind so never mind someday someone will post my videos again someday <laughs> I always ask myself right reddit doesn't like you man reddit hate my ass for reasons but like I said Man, this Nintendo NX thing's happening. And more people give a shit about that. It's weird how they time that announcement, like, right after the uh, debate or whatever. Well, someone needs to pull attention away Donald from that. Donald Trump just said he may not accept the results of the election. Well, he'd be a fool to. But, it'd be like, in the context of, like, the election, what does that mean? Accept. You know, this is terrifying. I don't care about Trump. But his supporters will eat this up and it will bring problems after the election if he loses and claims it was because the election was rigged. But it is, though. It is, though. It doesn't matter what size you're on. Like, this shit rigged. You know what I mean? Because when you, when, you, when you establish evidence to support a claim, that evidence doesn't just go away. I love that now that I don't talk politics with any of my family members. Bottom line is like it, uh, get the South Park did it best. I'm I'm not gonna say this over and over, but it's the choice between a giant douche and a turd sandwich. They're both shitty candidates. It's terrible. South Park did it a jillion uh, years ago, and Simpsons did it even further back. Don't blame me. I voted for Codex. <laughs> you know what I mean? I remember in that episode, uh, they were like. We'll just vote for a third party. Remember, and he goes, go ahead, throw your boat away. Fucking, it's sad, but uh, it's just the way things go. I mean, better, uh, better a bigot, racist, idiot than um. What than did a you criminal, say? Right, criminal shill. Oh, guys, why are we talking politics? I love you guys. I because you... it's a joke, I guess, because the politics, <laughs> the, you know, the situation in our country right now is a real joke. The election is the biggest joke in here. So let that be the number one joke. Oh, boys, did you guys enjoy this? Sorry we've been, um, you know, God, it's been so stupid and busy. Stripes came yesterday, and Mom 
you know, was bringing her around town. You, you, you know, things just go and get a little bit crazy, you know? Sometimes they get a little bit crazy. I love you. I miss you. Thank you to everybody who's been so ridiculous and sweet um, with, like, making some corny and crazy-ass things happen via the wish list. I literally just put them down and look at them and stare lovingly sometimes because I can't. I just need to find a way to get back to you. So, if you figured out a way for me to get back to you, when did this go up to $24 and it says that the price dropped by two cents? That's something that you want to make me aware of? Oh, two cents. Did you get an email about that? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, just a thin. <laughs> <clears throat> Instead of twenty four seventy eight, it is now twenty four seventy six. You get damn credit cards out. I'm like, what? Look, um, like I said, people have been overly sweet. Sweet like a pixie stick three pound bag baby i'm kidding do me a favor what add cotton candy machine to your wish list why would i add a cotton candy machine? here's the thing here's this can i be honest I, told, I, I probably said this before in the past the reason that certain things aren't going on the wish list anymore is because people like uh people like proper gentlemen people like jesse green people like regina are so sexy as individuals and particularly like Sanus. Mr. Nuding, dude, they've just, they've, they've sent me some stuff that, you know, if they were like, if they were my sugar daddies or sugar mamas, I'd be, uh, I'd be obligated to, I don't know, hit them with that. <laughs> <laughs> sugar, know. sugar babies don't always have to <laughs> I mean, do sexual that, favors. It's, it's just companionship. Well, look, then why can't I find a sugar daddy or a sugar mama that's interested in me? For non-sexual things because i'm not trying to hit everybody with that i wonder how that sounds on the microphone hey guys i'm just gonna get really close real quick just gonna see how uh how this sounds <laughs> mm, you like that <laughs> <laughs> oh man you remember in that south park episode where Which she was one? peeing and she was like is it like this gerald am i doing it right and then uh and then ike and kyle walk in and they're just like i just wanted him to go mommy I feel so bad for her. She's so sincere about all this. Wait, why are we talking about South Park at the end of a list? I really just need to end this, but the fact that I couldn't find, like, the, the, the zaniest soundboard. Well, you did. It just told you to get, like... Barf? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not funny, Stripes. There's a, there's a, there's a mooing? Come on. That's enough of it. Zoinks from Scooby Doo. Zoinks. It. Oh, that's copyrighted. Mm, yeah, it's copyrighted. So somebody has to hit him with that royalty for your zoinks. Hey, you just do your Shaggy impression. <laughs> Why zoinks, Scoop? <laughs> Willikers is that what he says? No, get out. <laughs> no one says Willikers. <laughs> he doesn't say that. Oh my God. I I I need a new catchphrase. Something like Yabba Dabba Doo. Or, uh, you know, ain't I a stinker? Something something black and with it, you know? Let them know that I just came fresh out of the penitentiary. Saying shit like, look out, school. I got that ramen for you right here, son. <laughs> That's not a catchphrase. You want this ramen? You got to beat it out in me in a game of checkers. Why don't we play chess, man? Nah, son. Checkers is an old sport. And I go on about how... You know, chess is a game and implemented by the white man to keep keep the brothers down. You know, um, one time Queen told me a story about how her brother uh, was trying to say something about how lotion was something that was invented by the white man to keep black people down. <laughs> she was dead serious. The, okay, whatever. Stripes is giving me that look like it's time to wrap it up. And that's the only reason I like extending these lists after they're done. Forever. What is this? Oh my god, this is one of my problems that I was at. This is like my personal... Can I tell you something else, um, subscribers? Um, before I started this list, I was like, man, it's time to make those thumbnails. And I just couldn't be bothered. Because shit like this is like... What, um... Shave my pubes. That's a real bad sight right there. Anyway, um, shit like that is why videos don't get made. Because I'm sitting there looking for the song. Or I'm thinking to myself... You know, oh my god, do you think I've been talking at the wrong area and the music's been too loud this whole time? I'm sure you're fine, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out in a big way, but I'm putting this video up anyway. When you, when you brought up pubes. Mad? What? Oh my god. No. 
It's got to be. It's got to be fine. It'll be fine. When you brought up to you, I thought maybe you were looking at a message board about your issue. No, this is a message board about me having issues with uh, Cortana earlier because I was saying something into the microphone and Cortana was like, what's that sugar pie? And I was like, bitch, I don't want you listening to me, which is probably going on on your computer right now. So if you're using Windows 10 and you haven't thoroughly shut down Cortana, you better Google how to do that shit. And I, I'm not saying to download anything. Do not download. Just download, um, I mean, don't download anything. Just shut Cortana up. You know, this has been another Kyle video. Stripes is really looking at me like, what is this now? <laughs> and I'm like, shut up. We need to do another Kyle corner. Mm -hmm. Kyle corner. See you guys later. Stripes is going to tell you guys a joke. What's your favorite joke, Stripes? I think the biggest joke is probably just me being here. At home. That's so mean. She, she said something that I'm glad her mic stopped working for because I think she's been resting her finger on the back of her microphone, which means that it could have slid out at any time. Actually, that looks really bad, Stripes. You broke the microphone. Why has the lights been on this whole time? Stripes. Oh my God. You were, you were bending it down, Stripes. Thank God Nuding sent this good one, Stripes. Man, Stripes broke a microphone just now, guys. Oh my God. It, you're lucky. I love you. Don't worry about it. Guys, I'm going to turn this video off and give Stripes the yelling of a... I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But guys, talk to you soon. Later.